All right, in this video, this is the update to the calendar tutorial that I'll be doing for the custom apps. Yes, I will be doing a full-fledged tutorial, but it will be a little while until I do it because I want to make sure all of the bugs are ironed out, or at least most of them. Think of this calendar as like an Android app. When an app comes out or it gets updated, there's going to be bugs, and new versions have to be released to iron out those bugs. That's what I'm doing here. Now, I did make some updates to this calendar as well. The most current version is going to be CraftCal V3. You can pick that up from my free components folder. So the updates that I've made, the updates are the following. Well, if you look at February 2021, I know that's not here right now as of September 2018, but notice February 2021. If I have Sunday as the last day of the week on my calendar, February 2021 only takes up four rows. So I added an update to the calendar app such that we only need to see a certain number of rows based on how many ever we need for that month. Check out March 2021. We have to see five rows for March of the year 2021, but we don't need a six row down here because that would be nothing but the next days for the next month. I do have a way to cut this off using globals as well. Hang tight and I'll show you that in a moment. Make sure you check all this out so you can see the updates and the bug fixes. If I go over to April, it only needs five rows in the year 2021. But if I go over to May, notice we do need six rows for May of the year 2021. And again, we can cut that off to where we always see six, but I think it's kind of nice, you know, to not have uh, excessive rows where in this case here, we would see a six row where it would be nothing but the next days coming up in May. You have an option to cut that on or off in your globals. Now that's just an update, that's not a bug fix. The bug fix was right here. Anytime we went from December to January, and I didn't even notice this, but somebody pointed it out to me, the overlap from December of the year before, it was always showing 30 instead of 31. And as far as I know, there's always gonna be 31 days in December. So I had to fix that bug. And uh, yeah, that's what I pushed over into V2. So for those of you that picked up V2, go ahead and pick up V3 so that you can take advantage of the correct codes to get these rows to go away when we don't need excessive rows, as I mentioned a moment ago. Now, one thing to point out too is whenever you load up this calendar, uh, V3 in this case, or whichever version you are loading up, you definitely wanna get V3. That's the most current version right now. But uh, when you load it up and you save it, it's not going to show the current month probably. I mean, right now I have mine set to February of 2021. But remember, anytime you wanna get the current month or if the month switches over from like the end of one month to the beginning of the next, the calendar is not automatically going to go to that month. I don't think there's a way to really do that and maintain all the functionality of this calendar. But just remember, anytime you load up this calendar, tap on that month up there and it's gonna to update to the current month that you are on. So here I am inside of the globals in CraftCal V3. If I make Sunday the first day of the week, notice what happened to February 2021. Instead of it having four rows like you see now, cause Sunday's the last day of the week, if I cut it back on, we now see five rows for February because that 28th day does come over into the next week now. And again, down here at the bottom, I said you could just toggle that entire setting on and off. No X OLAP, no extra overlap. If you cut this off, regardless of what month you're gonna be on, you're always going to see six rows. But notice here, that six row is showing nothing but the next days in the upcoming month. So those are the updates, the bug fixes. If you have any more, leave a comment below. I really appreciate the feedback so far. And um, yeah, look for a tutorial sometime, I don't know, uh, maybe in the next month or so on this, uh, once I think we have everything ironed out. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.